So, people, Wolves nil, Arsenal 2. Arsenal managed to bounce back after a tough, tough seven days and some difficult results. There was a lot of question marks about the team today. Did they have that ability to continue to stay in the title race? Because we knew that a draw or a defeat today would end any hope of the title race. And fair play to them. They showed some fight. They showed some determination. And they're going to stick around in this party and see if they can do something. It wasn't pretty. As Expression said, Katie Hopkins football, Sonia from EastEnders, you know, it was not glamorous. But we got the job done. Two goals, a clean sheet, and some positive performances and, and building blocks at the end of the day. Um, I'm looking at some of the performances today. David Reyes save in the first half was crucial. Mistake from us. Kivior gets caught out. I'm not happy with Kivior at left back, by the way. I just feel when he plays there, he's a player that, you know, clubs are trying to expose when he plays. So good job Neto wasn't playing right wing today. Um, but a crucial save from David Rail. I thought Ben White had one of his best games in a while. His passing down the line to Saka was superb at times and he was defensively solid. Two centre-backs did well. Kivior, for me, is not Arsenal level. Now, maybe I can make a fair judgment of him if he's playing at centre-back, because that's his natural position. But at left-back, I just feel like he's shaky. I don't have confidence with him there. And I just feel like, you know, of course the problem is that Tommy Asu was injured today and Timber's not back yet. And then Zinchenko and Kivior is, you know, both not the best defensively. So I really hope in these more difficult games that maybe we have Tommy Asu available. Maybe you get Timber for the final couple games of the season, but Kivior worries me when he's in that position 1v1. Uh, I think Gabriel did well. Saliba did well. Moment of, um, you know, where he switched off in the first half and gave the ball away. You have to cut that out of your game. You know, it's crept in in the last couple of games. For a player of his quality, you know, you don't expect to see that, but he did well. Declan Rice won man of the match today. I thought first half he was okay. I thought second half... He was absolutely outstanding. Somebody made a great point in the watch-along and uh, something that I'd recognised as well, that when Part A came on at the end, we saw Declan Rice doing them driving runs and I, I think he looks at Part A as sort of an insurance policy that he knows if he goes and joins in the attack, he's got that powerhouse in defensive midfield that reads the game well, that's got experience, that's strong player, Maybe not as quick as he used to be, but still good. And I just think Arteta has to try, particularly in more difficult games, to get Partey and Rice in that double pivot and then get Odegaard in that attacking midfield role. I still think that's the midfield we need to see. In terms of the front three and, and Odegaard, it's interesting. I didn't think we were amazing in attack. Gabriel Jesus, shot shy again. Feels like Lacazette from two years ago with better cheekbones. I mean, he doesn't want to shoot. And when he does shoot, he lacks conviction. You know, you really need to get Jesus hit in the back of the net again. Um, Havertz, I thought, was quiet. You know, it's one of them performances again where you think, OK, he won a few flick-ons. He was on the pitch. He didn't really do much. You want to see more from him. In the end, I think he did get um, given the assist for the Odegaard goal, to be honest. So let me give him some credit from that. But you still watch Havertz and think, I just want more. I want to see more from you, bro. Um, in the, Especially in the attacking sense. When everyone talks about him, they say work rate and defensive work. Saka again today, I still think a couple of decent runs, but... The end product, you know, got in great positions to put the cross in. The cross was blocked. Got to the byline to, um, you know, where he hit it on his right foot. He puts it over. Wasn't the worst, but, you know, we spoke about Saka needing a rest. He's just played 90 minutes. So there's, there's no chance at the moment of him getting a rest. And Chelsea will be a hard game. And Tottenham will be a hard game. So, you know, and the fact he's going to go to the Euros and start for England, you do have concerns over Saka and the lack of rest that he gets. I thought Odegaard was not great, you know, his passing was not at its best. He did try and get on the ball, I'll give him some credit, but he did get the goal and a goal can sometimes cover up a not great performance. I've been there as a player, you play average, you score, you've played great and that's football. Scoring goals is what the game is all about, so I'll give him credit for that. And uh, Trossard, fantastic goal. Brilliant, brilliant goal, cuts across it, brilliant technique. The celebration was back again. Green screen settings. 
And uh, listen, I think today was a real positive for Arsenal. I said at the start of the game I felt flat. I didn't have the same level of enthusiasm. The Villa and, and the Bayern games had sort of, sort of made me feel like, you know, I don't know, it just didn't feel as exciting. Today, now we've won clean sheet. The Chelsea game will be a bit more exciting because it's Chelsea. Their fans will be talking. They've got some bigger players, you know, that will be... Uh, will bring some competition to the table. So Tuesday's a big night. We've got a massive week coming up. Chelsea and Tottenham, again, one step at a time. Can we beat Chelsea and then can we beat Tottenham? Arteta today, did he pick the right team? I suppose it won, so I can't be too critical. But I don't enjoy and I don't think Havertz playing in midfield is the right thing. I think you either play him up front or you bench him. Personally, I'd love to see Trossard play as a false nine, I think he can play that role. I think he's possibly up there as the best finisher at the football club. And for me, he's a player. I want him on the ball in the penalty area more than I want him out on the left-hand side on the touchline because he's not blistering pace. I think Havertz has had a decent run up front, but I'd love to see Trossard play up front um in the upcoming games because i just think he's a better finisher and he's got that low center of gravity can shoot with both feet um but let me know what you think in the comments about that declan rice was given man of the match i agree with that thought raya was good and i thought ben white was good three points on to the next we're top of the league window shopper settings and uh on to chelsea on tuesday big up in the comments get your comments in what you think around the game and um like the video and I'll see you on Tuesday, people.